it's time for music with Miss Linda and Tex here. So let's get our bodies ready for singing. Let's go ahead and stretch our arms over our head. Ah, oh, that feels good. Yeah, Tex, can you stretch some? <laughs> He's just going to watch me. All right, let's go ahead and roll our shoulders. You can do one at a time if you'd like. Backwards, forwards. How about together at the same time? And backwards. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and stretch our face muscles, okay? I want you to act. Surprise! Can you do that? <laughs> and now, pretend you just ate the most sour lemon. Give me a sour face. <laughs> Surprise face. And a sour face. One more surprise face. And a sour face. <laughs> Great job. Now we're going to take some deep breaths. I call them singer breaths. And I use this Hoberman sphere to show our bellies filling up with air. Okay? Really our lungs, not our bellies. But I call it a belly breath too. So we're going to breathe in through our mouth. And then we're going to hiss out and see how long we can make our breath last by hissing. Okay? You ready? Here we go. And hiss out. Did you last? Let's try it again. Breathe in. And hiss out. Great. All right. We're going to warm up our voice now, but I want to make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. All right, your shoulders are down and relaxed, and you're, but you're sitting up nice and tall, like this girl or this boy. You're sitting up tall like that? All right, how about you, Tex? He's laying down, not sitting, is he? <laughs> okay, so we're going to warm up our voice with a couple of vocal expirations. So just follow the lines up and down with your voice. Woo, 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 just like that. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and do the first one. Follow the fish with your voice. Ooh. Ooh. Great job. Now let's go ahead and do the second one. And if you want to use your arm and make it go up and down with it, go right ahead. Follow the bouncing children with your voice.
we sing the song bingo? Yeah, no, it's not Tex, T-E-X. <laughs> it's bingo right here. B-I-N-G-O. So do you know that song? Well, we're going to sing it once with all the letters. And the, oh, you don't like this song? Look it, he's turned away. <laughs> He wants to sing about himself. But then I'm going to put the paper down because we're going to put the letters down below and we're going to clap for the letters. So the first time we're going to clap for the B and then sing I-N-G-O. The second time we're going to clap the B and the I-N-G-O. Third time we're going to clap B I N. G-O, and we keep continuing till we're clapping for all the letters and hardly singing at all. Are you ready? Okay, you ready to clap? Okay. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name-o. B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, B. I-N-G-O, and bingo was his name-o. Now we're going to clap. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name O I N G O I N G O I N G O and bingo was his name O clap two times this time There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name O N G O NGO, NGO, and bingo was his name. Oh, three times. There was a farmer had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh, Geo, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name O O O O and bingo was his name O five times this time there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name O And bingo was his name O. Oh, great job! Our next song is Closet Key. And this one's a fun one because there's a game to it. Yes, you like games, don't you? Well, he likes treats anyways. All right, so let me look in this bag right here. So I'm looking for two things. So. Here is a gigantic key. It's just a decorative key, not a one for, for really to use. Um, but it's easy for you to see. <laughs> and here is a real key on yarn. You can put on yarn or rope or anything that, you know, you can tie together to be as big as the circle that you need of children, students. And, you pass around the key while you sing the song and someone is in the middle with their eyes closed. At the end of the song, everybody pretends that they have the key while they're holding the yarn or string and only one of them has it under their hands, right? <laughs> and the person in the middle has to guess who they think has the key. So it's a really fun game. So, but we gotta learn the song first. So let me teach it to you, okay? Let me get that big key back again. There we go. Okay, I like to use this while I teach the song. Yes. So it's called Closet Key. Do you have a key for your closet? I don't have one for mine. I don't guess I don't have anything fancy enough that I need a key for my closet. So, <laughs> but it goes like this. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. 
So there's a person who works for the lady of the house. Um, this person is a servant, so they come every day and and work, and then and uh, they get paid. And well, they've lost the key to the closet. Oh no, they don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Like I said, I don't have a key to my closet, but if I did and I couldn't get into my closet, that would be a real problem, wouldn't it? So um, the good news is the second verse is, I have found the closet key in my lady's garden. I have found the closet key in my lady's garden. Phew, right? <laughs> and maybe if this was, it was this big, it wouldn't be that hard to find, right? If it was this tiny one, that might be really hard to find. So anyways, I would like you to be my echo. I'll go first. I have lost the closet key. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. Your turn. In my lady's garden. My turn. I have lost the closet key. Your turn. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. In my lady's garden. So the words are exactly the same from the first part to the second part, right? Okay, but there is one little difference. So let's see if this time you can hear, okay? I'll sing it again. Let me check my pitch. Here I go. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. Did you hear it go up? Your turn. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. Good, my turn. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. Do you hear it go down? Garden. All right, your turn. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. All right. You know what? Since the words are exactly the same and only the ending parts on both of them are different, I think you can try and sing the whole thing with me, okay? Here we go. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. And what did I say the second verse was? I have found the closet key. <gasps> maybe Tex helped dig it up. <laughs> or maybe he's the one who buried it in the first place. Is that right? <laughs> you have dirt on your, on your paws. <laughs> so let's go ahead and sing the second verse. I have found the closet key. Here we go. I have found the closet key in my lady's garden. I have found the closet key in my lady's garden. Let's do it one more time. Both verses. Okay, Tex? You ready? I think this is not about dogs, so he's just ignoring me. <laughs> is that right? Here we go. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. I have lost the closet key in my lady's garden. Come on, Tex, go find it. There we go. I have found the closet key in my lady's garden. I have found the closet key in my lady's garden. Phew. <laughs> All right, so you can either stop the video now and play the game. Remember, you're going to stretch the uh, yarn all out so that it's one big circle and everybody's hanging on to it. And then you just pass the key around. Make sure you have somebody in the middle with their eyes closed until the end of the song. Then everybody pretends to cover up that key.
All right. Pause the video to play the game. Hey, Tex! We have another song called Bow Wow Wow. <laughs> Somebody perks up a lot when you've got a treat in my hand. That's right. <laughs> So do you think Tex and this puppet look a lot alike? Yes. Well, Tex is a Rhodesian Ridgeback. And even though he got two dinners tonight, two different family members fed him, and he didn't tell them that he was already fed, he scored two meals. And he still looks like he's uh, still wanting a treat. Yes, I thought you were sleepy, but I guess you just were... Just wanting another treat. Okay, so this song is called Bow Wow Wow, and it goes like this. Bow Wow Wow, whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog, Bow Wow Wow, woof. <laughs> okay, so can you sing the Bow Wow Wow at the beginning and the end, okay? What about you? Can you put a woof on the end? Here we go. Bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Bow, wow, wow. Woof. Would you please be my echo? Bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? Your turn. Bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? My turn. Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Try that. Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Then bow, wow, wow. Your turn. Bow, wow, wow. Good job. Okay, so that little part. Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Try that. Little Tommy Tucker's dog. <laughs> He's bored already. No treats left. Um, that part is... Uh, little tricky with the words, but if you can't get it, that's fine. Okay, so let's try it from the beginning. Let me check my pitch, make sure it didn't fall down. Although Tex looks like he's trying to fall down. Here we go. Bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Bow, wow, wow. You want to try it again? If you can just do the bow, wow, wows, that's fine, okay? Let's sing it. Just a teensy, tiny, tiny, is that a word? I don't think so. <laughs> a little bit faster. Here we go. Bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Bow, wow, wow. One more time. Bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Bow, wow, wow. Great job. I have a fun song to teach you called Apple Tree. You see this apple? Hmm, he knows it's not real. <laughs> it's like, that's not a real apple. I can't eat that one. And uh, this one sounds like the apple tree could be dangerous, okay? It goes like this. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. <laughs> will you please be my echo? Apple tree, apple tree. Will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. Good job. Okay, I'm going to do it again, okay? Just be my echo. Apple tree, apple tree. Will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. All right, let's go ahead and do two parts. 
I don't know. Can you hear Tex? I think he's halfway snoring, except his eyes are open, so maybe not. <laughs> All right, you ready? Two parts. My turn first. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. Your turn. I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me Oh, okay. I think you're ready to sing the whole song. And if you can just sing Apple Tree at the beginning, that's fine too. Okay. What need you going? Okay. <laughs> All right. You ready? Here we go. Apple Tree, Apple Tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if you're up. Apple knocks me out. One more time. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. This is a very soft apple. Nice job. Sometimes you see me pick this up and I hit it on my hand and I touch my cheek with it. Are you gonna? You want a taste of it? I don't think you really want to taste it. I wonder if dogs can do hear it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, this is called a tuning fork, and if I were to, if you were to put it up to your touch of like a bone in your face, then you could hear it. And I'm going to do a voiceover or a tuning fork over so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm going to hit it, and then I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like. So that gives me a pitch, and from there, I can find the note that I need for my song. Hmm, he's getting kind of sleepy, isn't he? <laughs> well, then that means it must be time to move. So we're going to do a freeze game, and I want you to be able to stand up, and then, well, you can listen to the directions, okay? All right. We're going to move to some music that makes a perfect freeze game. Why? Because it has nice, long musical ideas, much longer than the ones in our songs, and then the music stops. So your job is to freeze in an interesting shape. If you don't, you're out and you sit down. But when we get to this part, everybody can stand up again and join me till the end. Okay? I'll stand up.
I'd like to teach you the song Mouse Mousy. Now, this guy would definitely chase it. And he's actually awake. And if he could actually really see this mouse, <laughs> he'd be all over it. But he doesn't see this mouse because it's just a picture. So uh, he's just going to go back to sleep. Okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and learn this song. It's super easy. And guess what? There's a game to it. It's a chase game, so, you know, um, <laughs> but you can always adapt it if you need to, to do it a different way. Let me have you listen to it. Mouse, mousey, little mousey, hurry, hurry do, or the kitty in the housey will be chasing you. <laughs> it says kitty, but we could say dog or text, right? All right, so will you be my echo? Mouse, mousey, little mousey, your turn. My turn. Hurry, hurry, do. Good job. Or the kitty in the housey will be chasing you. Great! All right, this time I'm going to do two parts. Here I go. Mouse, mousey, little mousey, hurry, hurry, do. Or the kitty in the housey will be chasing you. All right, I think you're ready. Let's see. Here we go. Mouse, mousey, little mousey, hurry, hurry do. Or the kitty in the housey will be chasing you. And everybody's in a circle and one person is the mouse and that person walks around and on the you at the end they tag somebody and that's going to be the kitty or tex or the dog whatever you want to make it and they jump up and they chase around and try and tag the the mouse before they get back to the kitty spot in the circle so that's how the game goes so pause the video if you want to play the game or move on to the next song Pause the video to play the game. Well, Tex here is uh, almost fast asleep here. And uh, so we need to wake him up a little bit with a little jingle. And the next song is called Tidio. And if you have something to make a little sound, whether it's jingle bells or a maraca or anything that rattles, go ahead and grab it, pause the video now, and then come back and then we'll go ahead and have you shake it while I sing the song. Pause the video to hand out instruments. All right, do you have something that you can shake or make some noise with? Okay. All right. Even if it's a pair of pencils, that works too. So when you hear Jingle at the window, tidy ho. That's when you get to shake it. Jingle at the window. All right, so jingle at the window. And then I like to keep shaking on tidy ho. It goes like this. Pass one window, tidy ho. Pass two windows, tidy ho. Pass three windows, tidy ho. Jingle at the window, tidy ho. Tidy ho, tidy ho. Jingle at the window, tidy ho. Tidy ho, tidy ho. Jingle at the window, tidy ho. Let's do that again. All right, maybe you've got two things in the good shape. Here we go. Pass one window, tidy ho. Pass two windows, tidy ho. Pass three windows, tidy ho. Jingle at the window, tidy ho. Tidy ho, tidy ho. Jingle at the window, tidy ho. Tidy ho, tidy ho. Jingle at the window, tidy ho. 
video. This time, I want to see if maybe instead of shaking, you can pat the steady beat. Okay, might be a little hard if you have a dog in your lap. <laughs> or you can do that and still jingle. Okay, you don't have to do both, but if you want to try, you can. Here we go. Pass one window, tidy o. Pass two windows, tidy o. Pass three windows, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Tidy o, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Tidy o, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Are you ready to do that one more time? Maybe even sing some of the tidy o's with me. Ready, go. Pass one window, tidy o. Pass two windows, tidy o. Pass three windows, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Tidy o, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Tidy o, tidy o. Jingle at the window, tidy o. Very good job. we're okay. Okay. I'd love for you to learn the song Naughty Kitty Cat, or at least sing part of it with me, okay? So this is Buttercup. Hi, Buttercup. Would you like to wave to those children out there? <laughs> okay, so Buttercup, let's go ahead and sing Naughty, ooh, Naughty Kitty Cat. Naughty Kitty oh, Cat. you naughty. Oh, no, look at Buttercup. Uh-oh, Buttercup did something wrong. What did Buttercup do? Can you listen to my song and see what Buttercup did? Let me see. It goes like this. Naughty kitty cat, meow. You are very fat, meow. You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat, meow. Did you hear what Buttercup did? Listen again. Naughty kitty cat, meow. You are very fat, meow. You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat, meow. What did Buttercup have on her whiskers? Butter. Oh my gosh. So... Sometimes I like to make chocolate chip cookies and I put butter on the counter so it'll soften so that it makes better cookies. Well, I had another dog, a yellow Labrador, and that would get the butter off the counter. And I'd come back to, you know, get the butter and I it was gone. And I'm like, I thought I put it out on the counter. Gosh, I guess I didn't. And then I find the wrappers outside, only there was no butter left. So, and this dog, Tex, sometimes he likes to counter surf too. Uh, usually not butter, but I think once he might have ended up with one. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> They're hunters, aren't they? Okay, Buttercup. So, uh, you got into the butter, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, can you put the meows in this time? Naughty kitty cat, meow. You are very fat, meow. You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat, meow. <laughs> Be my echo. Naughty kitty cat, meow. Naughty kitty cat, meow. You are very fat, meow. You are very fat, meow. 
You have butter on your whiskers. You have butter on your whiskers. Naughty kitty cat. Meow. Naughty kitty cat. Meow. <laughs> Are you trying to go somewhere? <laughs> he thinks maybe there's something on the counter he's missing. Hey, Tex, come up here. There we go. Okay, you don't have to leave us yet. We're almost done. <laughs> Okay, how about two parts this time, okay? Naughty kitty cat, meow. You are very fat, meow. Okay, try that part. Naughty kitty cat, meow. You are very fat, meow. You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat, meow. You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat, meow. Okay, so this time, uh, let's sing the whole song, and if you only can do the meows, that's okay, all right? If you can do a little bit more, like the Naughty Kitty Cat, that's fine too. You ready? Here we go. Naughty Kitty Cat, meow. You are very fat, meow. You have butter on your whiskers, Naughty Kitty Cat, meow. One more time. Naughty Kitty Cat, you are very fat. You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat. Nice job. Well, Tex, did you have fun today? I think you slept through most of it, at least part of it. Yeah, you're just so relaxed. <laughs> well, we're going to end with a few deep breaths, okay? So this time we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And we're not going to do the hissing this time, okay? These aren't singer's breaths, they're just nice calming breaths, okay? So in through your nose and out through your mouth, okay? Are you ready, Tex? Did you know they called him Big Nose in the shelter? Yeah. Okay, Tex, here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Should we do one more? What do you think? One more? Here we go. And out through your mouth. I hope you had a great time singing with Tex and me today. I'll see you next time.